Welcome to an analysis of the sounds of Mars. Today's recordings have been provided to us directly from mars.nasa.gov. There are three files that are completely unedited, untouched by myself. These are raw audio files from the Perseverance Mars rover. The first file we're going to look at is the sounds of Mars, including the rover noise itself. This is all the noise in the recording in one file, untouched, unedited. The second file will be just the Mars rover, and the last file will just be the sounds of Mars. Again, all three files unedited by myself from mars.nasa.gov. Let's begin. Okay, there are a couple of interesting things here. There's three things I want to point out right away. The first thing that drew my attention before I even hit the play button is this noise right here. Take a look at how this broadband noise reaches from 15 kilohertz all the way down to about three kilohertz, peaking at about seven and a half kilohertz. This is a broadband transient uh, that I don't know what the source is from. It could be from the rover, could be from Mars itself. Uh, either way, I find that interesting. The second thing we want to look at is look at this noise right here. This is Martian wind. The Martian atmosphere is extremely thin compared to Earth's atmosphere, but they can still have high winds. Uh, some of them have been measured in excess of 20 miles an hour in the past with other probes to Mars. So this is what Martian wind sounds like. Without the wind noise, I want you to take a look over here on the right. Look at all these peaks, and if you... Uh, take them all as a whole, you can see there's a bit of a rhythm to them. The spacing is approximately 240 to 250 hertz. I can't get an exact measurement because of the scaling I have available to me. I can't zoom in in frequency with this software. But it is approximately 240, 250 hertz spacing. This appears to be a motor on the rover. So whenever we listen to the rover recording, we'll be looking for this 250 hertz spacing. And we want to space pay special attention to this frequency right here. This broadband metallic in nature transient peaking at 7.4 kilohertz. Um, I need to know if that's from the rover or if that's something else because that appears to be man-made or because of the nature of this recording, Martian made. Let's take a look at the second file. The second file provided to us by mars.nasa.gov is called Perseverance Rover Sounds. Let's take a listen. This is a very quiet recording. I recommend you wear headphones. And it's very consistent. So we're not going to continue for the full 60 seconds. If you want to listen to the full 60 seconds, you can download this file. It's free from the mars.nasa.gov website. But I want to point out that we do have the uh, 250 hertz harmonics that we saw in the first recording, verifying that these are from the a motor on the rover. We also have a very strong 60 hertz uh, and what appears to be a 400 hertz uh, Tonal right there. It's very sloppy. It's hard for me to measure with my cursor here. But so we got 60 hertz motor, a 400 hertz motor. And look at this peak right here. This is um, 16,400 hertz or 16.4K. This is the 40th harmonic of 400 hertz. So what that tells me is there is an electric motor on the Perseverance rover. Uh, running at 400 hertz, very high frequency, precise motor that has 40 staves in the motor itself. So it's a very strong, precise motor. It could be the drive, probably is the drive is what I think, considering how much power is going to it. So I think that the motors uh, are combining to create this harmonic effect or this reinforcement effect at 16.4 kilohertz. It's come, the original frequency is down here at 400. The 40th harmonic is up here. This is all the rover. So we can subtract these frequencies from the first recording. Uh, some of these we saw, the 250 hertz we saw in the first recording were easy to identify. So let's look for the seven kilohertz. 7.4 is right here. And it looks like 
what we're seeing in the 7.4 kilohertz is only that 240 hertz spacing, 250 hertz spacing. We aren't seeing any peaks like, like here. So either that 7.4 kilohertz that we saw in the first recording is part of the motor system on the Perseverance or it's something else. Now, let's take a listen to the last file. Okay, welcome to Mars. This is a raw recording from mars.nasa.gov of the Russian surface with NASA removing the noise of the rover from the file. I have not touched this file. I am showing it to you as NASA has presented it to the public. Let's have a listen. Okay, there are three very interesting things here that I wanna go over. Uh, the first is the wind noise. We all heard this wind noise in the original recording and in this uh, filtered one as well. So definitely wind on Mars, but there are two other sounds. One, we have not seen before this moment. Let's go back to the first one. This one is measured at 7.4 kilohertz right here. You can see the very strong peak. This is, this is a very strong sound broadband noise that has a second peak up at around 8.2, 8.4 kilohertz. This is nearly a one kilohertz wide broadband noise metallic transient enhance. Let's go here and take another look at what I'm talking about. This is broadband noise. This is not a narrow band you know, transmission or anything. This is basically a generic sound. This sounds like metal to metal contact, which I would uh, infer to be from the rover, but mars.nasa.gov says this file does not include any rover noises. So something presumably on Mars or in the Martian atmosphere created this metallic like transient uh, right here at time 3.6 seconds. You can see as we take a closer look at it that it does have some resonance higher in frequency up to about 14 kilohertz. Uh, that is all related to this original 7.4 kilohertz transient. Uh, a very interesting metallic transient uh, from the Martian atmosphere or the Martian surface. But the one we haven't seen yet is this very low frequency thump. Again, this might be something on the Mars rover that is being raised lower, maneuvered in some way, and it just made a thumping noise. But this recording is without rover self noise. So let's see what this sounds like. And it's just a thump. This thump is centered at very low frequency. It looks like, you know, I can barely measure it. It's so low. But it has the second area up here, we can measure this a little bit easier. Uh, let's cut, put the cursor back on that. And there you get, there you go. You can see it once you filter out all the broadband noise, this is centered around eight kilohertz or eight hertz, 800 hertz rather. 800 hertz right here, just this little thump. Very low frequency. Uh, this is in line with a, um, you know, a piece of gear that may have some insulation on it or some kind of sound absorbing material, you know, rubber coating. Uh, could be a heat insulation on it, you know, hitting something. You know, it's a very muffled thump. Let's take another listen. So, yeah, that thump you're hearing um, apparently isn't from the rover, but it sounds like to me like it could be. But what I find most interesting is this high frequency metallic broadband transient centered at 7.4 kilohertz. That is a very interesting sound to be coming from the Martian surface. Maybe NASA will come back after watching this video or future videos like this and maybe explain what these sounds are. Maybe these two frequencies, the 7.4 and this 800 hertz are from the rover. Uh, it's possible that that is the case, uh, but if it's not, there's something on Mars making metallic transients and tub thumping. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.
This has been a Mars acoustic analysis of the Martian surface.